Have you ever wondered why big ships manage to float in the ocean? You'd think that the heavier the object or the more heavy it appears, it would sink like a rock going right down to the bottom. Hey guys, my name is Dave Wapple. Welcome to FTD Facts where we talk about everything and everything. And today we're going to ask that one question that's boggled so many people. Why do big ships float? Alright, so for all my viewers out there, I want to know from all you guys, I want to know, have you guys ever been on a boat or a ship? So the longest ship in the world world was the oil tanker Seawise Giant. It was over 458.46 meters long. And the largest ships being the CSL Globe Container Ship and the Royal Caribbean Oasis of the Seas, which I actually have been on. So when you look at these ships, you kind of wonder, wait a minute, these are so big, they're probably so heavy, how do they float? Like why are these things simply not going to the bottom of the ocean having another Titanic scenario? So what happens when a ship's hull hits water? That's the Question. First of all, as soon as it lands in the water, gravity wants to push it all the way down to the bottom of the ocean. However, for us to float, we have to thank a thing called displacement. Now displacement is basically when an object goes into water, the water will attempt to go somewhere else. That's why when you drop an ice cube into the cup, the water level will rise. It's because the water is spreading around trying to find a place to go. But there's a force called buoyancy force. And basically what happens is water is trying to return to its point of origin. So for a ship, when it goes into the water, gravity is pushing it down. But because the water has been displaced, the buoyancy force is pushing the water back up. But what happens if an object is too heavy? Will it still float? Well, for heavier objects, you will need more displacement. That's why container ships are so huge. The bigger the ship's hull, the more water will get pushed out of the way, and the more the water will force its way up. If you actually look at submarines, they actually intake water so they can go deeper. This is because water is heavy as well. But for them to rise, they have to blow out all the water out of their tanks. So that's pretty much how ships float, guys. And if you ever have your hull cracked, well, unfortunately, that's why water seeps in. Or if you're like a rock and you have too much weight and not enough displacement, you're going to sink as well. So hopefully your hull doesn't breach the next time you're out on the ocean or a lake. So I'm Dave Wobble. This has been FTD Facts. Thanks for watching. You guys have been fact attacked.